Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the tenth tutorial in the series of tutorials on Arduino, and in this tutorial, we're going to make a smart car parking system. So here we will be taking an example of a car parking which has five slots of parking. So we will be using five IR sensors for those to indicate whether a slot is empty or the slot is taken. We will have two more sensors for one for the entry and one for the exit. So whenever there is a car on the entry gate and the sensor senses the car, the gate is open if the parking is not full and the slots which are not taken are displayed and when a car moves out the number of cars decreases and the slot gets empty if all the slots are taken and number of cars is equals to 5 inside the car parking then no car is allowed to move in and the gate will not open so I have a script opened up here which is called smart car parking. In the first line of code I have included the servo library which will be used for the gate to open and close the gate. Now I have 7 sensors here. One for the entry, one for exit or out we can say. And one for slot 1, slot 2, slot, slot 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 sensors. Okay are 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 we are using so the initially the number of cars will be zero inside the parking we have to define this servo name gate because I'm controlling the gate through this okay now in the void setup function I'll attach this servo to the 10th pin which is a PWM pin of course then all the sensors are my inputs then I'll set it the pin mode to be an input then I'll begin the serial monitor because I'm going to display all the values that we are getting into the serial monitor then I'll write <coughs> a zero degree angle to the gate so the gate initially is closed then the delay of 1000 microseconds means one second then in the loop function I'll just read all the sensor values simultaneously and store them in these variables so in means the entry sensor the out means the exit or out sensor s1 means the sensor of slot 1 s2 means the sensor of slot 2 s3 means the sensor of slot 3 s4 means the sensor of slot 4 and same s5 okay first of all if the number of cars in the parking is equals to 5 then the parking is full and serially we will have this printed like parking is full if the parking is not full then the cars in the parking are equals to this cars this variable cars then we will say the empty slots so how we will get the empty slots value so if the slot s1 is equals to 1 means the sensor value is equals to 1 that means the slot is empty and same for S2, same for S3, S4 and S5. If all the sensor values are 0, means all the sense, all the slots are taken, then we don't have any available slot which is empty. Then we will write this signalprint.ln so that after writing all these values, the next data will be printed on the next line. So this was to print the data and all. So how to open the gate? So if the in means the entry sensor gets a value 0 means it detects a car and the number of cars is less than equals to sorry less than 5 then cars will be incremented by 1 means the one car is getting in so incremented by 1 and the servo will open the gate for one second and again the loop will continuously be running okay what if the car goes out so I have written the if, fun if function for this also if out is equals to zero and cars is greater than zero means there is a car inside the parking then only it will be going out 
so if out is equals to zero means a car is going out then cars will be equals to cars minus one means one car has left the parking then we will give a delay of one second so that the car answer to avoid reading multiple values okay so this was the end of the program let's see how it runs so i'll just upload my program to the board because my board is already connected to my com port and so this is the hardware setup i am having so it has a entrance sensor the sensor senses if a car's and car enters and a servo motor for opening and closing the door slot 1 slot 2 slot 3 slot 4 and slot 5 have their individual sensors to sense if a slot is empty or filled and there is also a sensor on the exit which is to sense if a car exits or goes out from the parking okay let's see so let's see how it works so there here the serial port data is we are having this cars in the parking is zero currently yes there is no car in the parking empty slots slot one two three four five are empty all the slots are Now we should have the data, the cars in the parking is 1, there is one car you can see and it has taken slot 1 so slot 1 is not displayed in the empty slots. So those empty slots are 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this 2, 3, 4 and 5 the empty slots are here. So if I enter one more car, let's say the car is now here, black car comes in, it goes in and it takes the slot 3 let's say so it has taken the slot 3 so now we have cars in the parking is equals to 2 so we have 2 cars in the parking and empty slots are slot 2 4 and 5 so 2 4 and 5 slot is empty so let's say if a car leaves so let's say uh, this car leaves from here now we can see the slot 3 is empty because no car is there and now one car is leaving so one car has left so okay I actually did what is the delay is not so long because so what happened here because uh, this uh, car parking cars in the, you can see the cars in the parking has become zero because the sensor reads this car multiple times because we didn't provide a sufficient delay to let the car out of the parking so let's change the delay in the program so this was the delay i was talking about this is uh, you can see this is one second and one second is a very less time so i'll change it to three seconds and here also the gate closes very soon so i'll change this to three seconds now upload the code okay now, now my new code is uploaded i'll just remove it and what i have is cars in the parking is equals to zero empty starts is equals to one and let's say this car enters this car enters so the gate is open for 3 seconds and it takes the slot 1 so slot 1 has gone from the empty slots empty slots are 2, 3, 4 and 5 now let's say this car comes again Two is now filled you can see the slot 2 has gone from the empty slots 3, 4 and 5 are empty so let's say new car this eraser comes this is the netraj car so okay it takes the slot 3 and slot 3 gone so let's say one more car this is one more white car okay this enters it takes this to slot 5 and slot 5 also gone cars in the parking are 4 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 now let's say this is the fifth car okay it enters and it takes the slot 4 all the slots are taken and the parking is full now if we try to insert a new car let's say now we are trying to insert a new car which is you can say now the sharpener car has come okay the sensor reads the value 
uh, it knows that there is a car here but it won't open the gate because the parking is full so to let the car in we have to empty at least one slot so I'll just remove it from here so let's say we have empty slot 1 and we will remove this car from here the car okay now the car has gone so there are four cars in the parking one two three and four and slot one is empty so if i now this car okay this comes the gate opens and it goes in takes the slot one okay so i think you had fun watching this or being in the tutorials so we talked about a lot of sensors like IR sensor, ultrasonic sensor and we also uh, raised LCD, LED and the servo motors with our Arduino so you can use all of them and combine them all together to make uh, big projects like uh, this one it's, it's a very uh, simple example but you can have many things like you can make your own robots uh, building by using the servo motors you can also build these type of um, uh, robotic arms using the servos that I showed you the NG995 servo so it's a lot of fun using Arduino so you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you once again